Good evening, everyone. Look at this, two boxes of Allen and Ginter. This is the last two boxes of the case. Right there, there it is. And the Mike Jasperson bounty is still on. Remember, our boss, the boss man, Mike Jaspi, has an autograph in Allen and Ginter. So if you pull, if you get randomized the non-sport, non-baseball spot, and we pull a Mike Jasperson autograph, you'll get $1,000 of break credit to jazbeeshobbyland.com. No joke. We've given one away already. All right. Big thanks to all these people for getting into the action. I'm sure some of these people who bought spots ages ago are just like, whoa, this finally broke. It did. Uh, all teams are in, plus there's the uh, non-sports, non-baseball spot. Let's randomize each list six times. Five and a one. One, two, three, four, five, and a one. Six times. After six times, we've got Kevin K, top and bottom. So there's 31 spots because we had the extra non-baseball, non-sport spot. Five and a one, six times, four, all the spots, all the teams in the other extra spot. One, two, three, four, five. I said six, right? Yeah, there's five right there. And one more time, six. Cardinals down to the Nationals. And the second to last spot has the non-sports, non-baseball spot. And that would be Todd Everidge. There you go, sir. Kevin K with the Cardinals, Mary Lou, Yankees and Mets, David Kiss with the Dimebag, Kevin K with the Phillies, Jesse with the Dodgers, gets my Dodgers, nice. Mary Lou with the Padres, Kevin Kinney with the Mariners, Mary Lou with the Indians, Jesse with the Pirates, Mary Lou with the Red Sox, Kevin K with the Blue Jays and the Rangers, Thomas Gross with the A's, Kevin, Reds, Brew Crew and Marlins, Mary Lou with the Orioles, Kevin, Royals, Tigers, Astros, Rockies, your last spot mojo, which is why you have a little star next to your name, Tigers, maybe a little extra magic there. Uh, Braves for Mary Lou, Todd with the Cubs, uh, Jibe with the Rays, Kevin K with the Angels and the Giants, Mary Lou with the White Sox, Kevin with the Twins, Todd with the non-sports, non-baseball spot, good luck sir, and Kevin with the Nationals. Let's sort by column B. And let's print this guy out. Feel free to trade if you'd like, although I think most people aren't going to be here. All right, um, we're gonna close the trade window. TWC means trade window closed. I don't think anyone's gonna trade in this. All right. There it is, on a Friday from 10 Buck Breaks, break number 10. Good luck, everyone. So if, you, if it's been a while since we've done some Allen and Ginter, autograph cards, relic cards, printing plates, rip cards, those are fun and book cards, plus a lot of other weird random stuff uh, that we've come to know and love in Allen and Ginter baseball. All right, good luck everybody. Nice box topper. Um, Allen and Ginter is uh, always been one of my favorite sets every year. It's there's just a weird, a weird quirkiness to it that I really like. Big fan of it. All right, so good luck, everybody. Thanks for helping fill this break up. Big thanks to Kevin for grabbing the last big chunk of spots there. Let's see what happens. A lot of uh, framed mini cards in here. That looks like a framed card of some sort. Ah, the old tops traded look back there too. So a lot of a uh, lot of odd vintage goodness that are found in here. 
Yeah, the Kevin Kratz, like it's so old school. How could you not love it? Yeah, it's the, like the old tobacco card days. Uh, Todd says you've never you've never seen a rip card pull. Well, today might be the day. Yesterday you've never seen a super fracture pull, and we pulled one from a uh, Bowman draft last night. So tonight might be a night where we knock out a rip card for you, Todd. We'll just start checking things off of your uh, start checking things off of your hobby bucket list. Yeah, they are in Alan McGinter. Um, they're pretty rare, though. <laughs> no, Curtis, you were not able to smoke the card. They were not tobacco cards, cards made out of tobacco. They were cards that were included with packs of smokes, packs of cigarettes, back in the day. Um, Allen and Ginter was one of those old tobacco companies. Um, Goodwin Champions at Upper Deck does is, is another old brand. Watch out for those minis as well. All right, good luck, everybody. All right, so obviously stuff like Miguel Cotto is a uh, non-sport, so I'll go to the non-sports spot. So will the so will all this fish, sport fish, and fishing lures. See. couple minis there. We'll save all the minis because I think on the back some of them could be numbered so we'll be able to double check those. Who is this guy? Tom Anderson? Oh, MySpace Tom. That guy. That guy. Battle of Lexington Revolutionary Battle. I can't wait till they do I'm sure they've done Civil War already but Look at this. Mmm, trout. And our first relic, Cole Hamels. That goes to the Rangers, of course. That'll be for Kevin Kinney. I have to kind of angle it this way so these, these mini cards don't slide out nice Bo Jackson love this even with a little bit a bit of gunk on the back this is a rediscovered tops nice little buyback there for the Royals Kevin K that's pretty nice It's a space needle. Was that a World's Fair thing? Huh, it was. We should have another World's Fair, that's what I say. Look at this little guy. Little guy. Solar generator, another World's Fair item. What, what year was this? Oh, in Paris, 1878. That looked a little different, but I guess not. Oh, damn it. Sorry about that little mini. The diesel engine, when did that premiere? Paris in, the, in 1900. Just imagine, I just imagine like Nikola Tesla hanging out at the World's Fair. 
trying to say, you know, let's use DC instead of AC, or maybe that's maybe it's the other way around. And then that that SOB Edison is like, let's use DC. I don't know my power. <laughs> I don't know my electricity. It's one of those. One guy liked one, and the other guy liked the other. And then one thing won. That's pretty cool. Mariano Rivera. Ah, the old Battle of the Chesapeake. I remember that like it was yesterday. Just bust a move. <laughs> Gardner, dude. Really? Gardner, dude. There's Ozzy Gian. Nice. What is this? Our oh, tarpon and twitch bait. Nice Aaron Judge. Um, what book? What, what book do I need to read? Devil in the White City. There's Jeff Brantley. And we've got De Leon, and we've got Clayton Kershaw. Well, you haven't helped, Joe P. No thanks to you. <laughs> that goes to the Dodgers, Jesse Rager. Oh, so it's a it's it's a story about the 1893. So Devil in the White City, story about the 1893 World's Fair in Chicago. Nice, Jesse Rager with the Dodgers. Another World's Fair, the Unisphere. God, they should bring back World's Fairs. All right, there's Pedroia. There's Mike Trout back there. Pedroia Relic goes to Mary Lou in the Red Sox. Oh, Joe P's just a spectator. That's what it is. Well, then you can't really complain that Transcendent is not breaking, my friend. The rookie card of. Aaron Judge still has some value there, too. I'm not worried about that transcendent. We're gonna, we'll fill it, Joe P. We'll fill it. We're not in a rush. It'll happen. It'll happen. Nice. That's actually pretty cool. 12 out of 25, Roberto Clemente Mini. That's a nice one for the Pirates. Jesse Rager with the Pirates. Nice out of 25 Mini. Yeah, I'll have to audiobook that. Max, I will talk about basketball after this baseball break. It would be kind of weird to talk about that during an Allen and Ginter break. But I think he did fine. I think he did great. Yeah, was there no auto in there in that box? That's kind of weird, right? Maybe it's in the box topper. Joe, you're just saying, Joe P, you're just saying that because you're a Phoenix Suns guy. You're, you're just jealous that Josh Jackson's not playing well. Yeah, there's no auto in that box. World's Fair, I gotta check that out. Wasn't there a World's Fair in the movie Meet Me in St. Louis? Is Meet Me in St. Louis considered a 
considered a uh, Christmas movie. Those are questions I want opinions from. <laughs> Joey admitting that, yeah, Jackson is a little bit of garbage right now, too. Hey, th this is what happens when you have one and done players, Joe. Oh yeah, uh, I I heard about this H. H. Holmes character that I know. Um, yeah, I do know about these that scary castle where he, uh, the the hotel or something like that that he had that he where he did his deeds, his de dastardly deeds. Uh, there was that speculation from wasn't there like a National Geographic show or a Discovery Channel show that speculated that he was that H. H. Holmes was a. Uh, what you call it? A uh, was Jack the Ripper? Did they ever? What was the resolution to that? I feel like it was a lot of pomp and circumstance. Nothing ever came of it. But um, Todd saying that you don't think that Meet Me in St. Louis is, a, is could be considered a Christmas movie. Yeah, I mean it. It does have. It, that's the movie where "Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas" came from. Julie, and, no, not Julie Andrews. Um, Dorothy from Wizard of Oz. Why am I blanking on her name? Anyway, she sang it. Did she? I don't know. I've seen it like once. <laughs> it's a classic, though. So is he Jack the Ripper or not? I just go ahead, spoil it for me. <laughs> is he Jack the Ripper or not? Judy, right? Judy Garland. Why am I? Why did I blank on Judy Garland? Unbelievable! That was terrible, Joe. So no one knows. So they went through all that. They went to that whole television show. And in the end, they're just like, well, you never know. Inconclusive. Look at this guy. Nice sailfish. I want to go marlin fishing. Who do I, who's in Florida? Who can, who can I visit in Florida that'll take me marlin fishing? And so I can eat a marlin that I caught. David Price for the Red Sox. Mary Lou with the Red Sox. Nice, Rafael Palmero. Did you hear that story about Rafael Palmero who wanted to like come back and play baseball at like 50 or something like that? There's the facsimile machine. Oh, the old fax machine. There's that little panda again. Battle of Quebec. You remember this one, Curtis? Curtis isn't in Quebec, but I'm just making stereo Canadian stereotypes. Curtis remembers this. Ah, oh, damn it! Those minis always slide out of there. Zach Britton may get traded. Is there marlin fishing in Myrtle Beach, William? I want to eat some salmon, too. I want to catch some salmon and eat it. I like fishing. Fishing's fun. Moose. Mike Lieberth. Remember Mike Lieberth? Oh. Battle. I do not remember the Battle of the Cowpens at all. The perfect game. Whoa. 
What is this? Oh, I know what those are. Those are cool. Um, these are constellations. I think you can see uh, it's Ursa Major. Obvs, obvs. Ursa Major. I think if you turn off the lights, you can see that glow. So there's every kind of fishing and murder. Did it lead to the great syrup shortage? Um, Curtis is saying. Uh, so there, so I, there's every kind of fishing in Myrtle Beach. All right, well, I'll go to Myrtle Beach or Florida and look, go get marlins. Go do my own old man in the sea recreation for recreation. Mark Davis, not the Raiders owner. Barracuda, nice. It's Trey Turner and there's... Thor, Noah Syndergaard. Well, I'm going to go marlin fishing. Catch marlin. That'll go to the Mets, of course. That goes to Mary Lou. No boss man auto yet. I guess we're not giving away $1,000. It's only happened to us once. And there's the Battle of Trenton. Of course. I, I, I have to admit that my... Uh, that my uh, Revolutionary War knowledge, very poor. I know the ba but I know the basics. I know what happened, but um, much better at the Civil War. I like the Civil War. Monorail, monorail. Remember the mon. Watch if you're a Simpsons fan. Rewatch the monorail episode. It's great. There's Craig Kimbrell. I remember that Todd. You showed me, didn't you? Over the summer, I think you guys brought it. I saw it at the National. Right, the sharks will eat the marlin, in, but not me. That'll be a metaphor for life, Curtis. Old man in the sea. Frank Robinson as a National. There's a smallmouth bass. Look at this little guy. Is this that Finding Nemo? That's Nemo. And Yasiel. At the end, and that there you have it, folks. That is your break. We're going to look at the backs of those minis in just a second. So let's see what we got in the back here, and then we'll look at the box toppers. It's the constellation card. No numbered cards on the back, but some nice minis there. And last but not least. Let's see what's inside these box toppers. Uh, I need to use, use this. All right, we have Anthony Rizzo. Nice. It's kind of hard to hear. How about this? There's Anthony Rizzo. Nice. Not numbered, though. That old sepia tone. All right. Curtis saying, I would love to go to go on Jeopardy, but there are too many American history questions. Yeah, that might be a problem for you, Curtis. Um, although I have to say, even as an American, Jeopardy is hard. I think I try to try out for Jeopardy. Noah Syndergaard. So the Cubs ones will go to Todd Everidge, and the Noah Syndergaard will go to Mary Lou and the Mets. Doesn't look like this one's numbered. Sometimes they're numbered or autographed. And there you have it, folks. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was a quick two-box break of 2017 Topps Allen and Ginter Baseball. Two box Ram team break number 10 from 10buckbreaks.com. Those are the last two boxes of the case. So thanks everybody. Joe for Jaspies and 10 Buck Breaks. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.